Interpol, need for you know. Interpol police, need for you know. Are you at your wits end with me? We have a confession. <sighs> Good morning. We're here in Kaunas, which is the second largest city in Lithuania and is also this year's capital of culture. And we have about 15 hours here. So we're gonna try and make the most of today. Let's have the countdown begin. Starting off with a beautiful church we already found. Behind me is a mosque. And not only is it a mosque, it's a brick mosque. The only brick mosque in the Baltics. And it was built in 1930. And it's not a church. Exciting. They're in trouble. They offer us a tour of the catacombs, but it was three euros each, so we respectfully declined. But we're on this walking street now, you know, with the church behind us, and like, it goes down. I, I know you guys can't see it, because I can't even see the end. But it looks like it goes for about a mile, maybe yeah. even more. Last surviving synagogue in Konas. And look, big old lock. Let's go. I, I mean, most synagogues aren't, you know, crazy, gaudy, or over the top, anyways, but from seeing all the churches and all the ornate designs, ornate architecture. From the plaque outside, it said that the churches um, and the synagogues had to be separate. More so, the synagogues had to be separate from all the churches. So I guess that's why it's in this, you know, off this kind of beaten path, this main road. Also just crazy how we also saw a mosque and then yeah. all the churches and now a synagogue. And we have not found that and or at least I wasn't aware yeah. in any of the other cities we've been to. We've been walking for about two and a half, almost three hours now. So everything before was in what's called New Town of Konas, and now we're in Old Town. Look at these double the town churches. Hall? I think this one might be the town hall. Ooh. Yeah, it probably is because there's no cross. This, is this square is huge. Yeah. It's really cute too. Yeah, I really like all these like brick buildings. I don't know. Has anyone else ever like fantasized about, you know, living in like a European town with like the small windows up top and you're in like a square and there's like a community and there's like a market, like a farmer's market where everyone comes together from the town? It's just me. You can, you can tell them about your medieval fantasies. I do, I do have a thing for the medieval times. So coming to these parts of the world, you really get that, I really get that fix, you know? United States, oh, basketball, NBA. Yeah. <laughs> you have a favorite team? Okay. Favorite basketball player? No, no, good, I suppose. Interpol, need for you, no? Interpol, need for you, no? Interpol police, need for you, no? <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, joke. yeah. <laughs> it's a studio. <laughs> uh, we go inside. Uh, you see this table. No, 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 no. It's, it's okay. 
Uh, we have oh, no, we, we go this way. It's one minute, one minute. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Спасибо, спасибо. Good day for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. You're going to sit down on the rock? I guess. I think you were saying it takes away all of the negative thoughts and energy. And then he said something with hospital, which I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't get the hospital yeah. part. <laughs> but I think he was trying to take us on a little tour and there was no expect some money. Ah. Uh, so that's why I kind of shut him down. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna do what he says though. We're gonna sit on the rock. He's giving me the thumbs up from over there, so all my bad feelings have turned into good feelings. I don't know if you can see, but look at this building. They put like these tarps over it. The buildings that are like falling apart or they're renovating. So you can see the tarp. Then that's the actual building where the, I guess the tarp fell, and then there's more tarp on that side. It's my turn on the rock. Oh, okay. I don't want my bad feelings to go away. You're supposed to take a deep breath in. Did he just see you? I was taking pictures and... Yeah, he just... He just approached you? Yeah, he just came up to me. I think he saw me filming. He just came up to me and he knew I was a tourist. Ah. Uh, and... I would have gone along with it. I'm too I, awkward. <laughs> I would have just been like, oh, okay. I think that's like a common thing. So you kind of have to watch out for that. Like, yeah, people will approach you and then... Like, oh, like, come, I'll show you, I'll show you. And then at the end, they're, they're, gonna, like, they're gonna expect money. river is the nearest river and so this castle sits strategically located on this bank you know between the nearest river right here and the Numanus river which you can't always really see is over there but almost where they meet is right down there so this confluence point of these two rivers would have been very strategic uh, they originally think that this castle was built in the mid 14th century but they're not a hundred percent sure but having this castle on these rivers, and look at this huge knight statue. You can only imagine, you know, what kind of stuff went on, how many men like this were actually here. You know, on top of on top of these walls, in these stables. It's cool. View. It's cold? I'm so cold. <sighs> so we walked and walked and walked <laughs> looking for food. We walked past literally a hundred restaurants. <laughs> And we kept walking, and then we ended up back by the bus stop. And we ended up getting Subway for lunch. Well, actually, we sat down at a pizzeria. They gave us the menus. We were there for probably, like, seven minutes. And then we were both, like, bail. And we bailed to Subway. So we've been here for six hours. We still have nine hours to go. And, you know, we walked a lot. We saw a lot. And... We don't know how to kill the time, so we got some vodka. Some lukewarm vodka. Some, you know, right off the shelf, Lithuanian vodka. Bark is just full of babushkas, just like sitting on benches. So, cheers. Oh my God. That is horrible. Woo. You can tell she's not from here. <laughs> Ooh, wow.
We walked all this way to ride. Hopefully you can see them, the funiculars. Funic funicular? Mm -hmm. I never know how to pronounce that. I think it is. Funicular. Funicular? Oh. I was excited to ride them. I mean, they just go from like <laughs> this residential street <laughs> up to uh, what I assume is that residential street, but. Yeah. But still, yeah, it would have been fun to do. Dang it. And we're out of vodka. <sighs> it costs us money. One euro, 50 cents each. Mm -hmm. We climbed a lot of stairs, but I think it's worth it. Check this out. So we're on top of a church, just overlooking the city. Let's see. So if you're ever in Kaunas, Lithuania, come up here. It's two euros, 50 cents to take the elevator to the top. It's one euro, 50 cents to take the stairs. This day is far, far <laughs> from over. So we're gonna end this video right here. We're gonna start the next one pretty much immediately after. So again, thanks for watching. We love you all. See ya. Bye. Bye.